I was born in uh, Vitebsk, uh, Belarus, that's in uh, East Europe, and I was about 10 years of age when my family and I came over. My dad and my brother had actually moved a couple years before we did, my mom and I. Uh, so I was definitely excited to come uh, live in a new country and uh, meet uh, new friends. Wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into, but, uh, but that was all really, uh, really exciting, yeah. Uh, my dad is uh, an engineer, my mom uh, was a gynecologist back in, back in uh, Belarus. So they had this idea that high education is it's important and it's uh, basically no questions asked, that's, that's what you do and that's what's happening after high school. Finally, you know, I got into uh, UC Davis, the school that I wanted and as a biological science major. Uh, biology uh, was a major part of my high school, high school life. Uh, my teacher there left a big impression on me and I loved learning about uh, all the different microbes and how our body is uh, affected by our environment and how we can affect our environment. Um, so um, so th uh, that's, that's what I ended up studying for four years. In college, I actually drove buses. It was geared primarily towards college students. It was probably one of the most fun jobs I've had and you know, driving a big bus. Uh, essentially, the routes ended on campus. So I could drive a route, get back on campus and go back to class. I met my wife when we were both freshmen in college, uh, about junior years when we got engaged and actually celebrating eight years this July. These days I'm a pretty busy uh, papa as my kids call me. I have a three and a half year old and now I have a, a, an eight month old. And that's primarily what I fill my time with is kids, family and a little bit of housework. I was a swimmer back in high school. That's something I've been striving for, trying to get back in the water and do a little bit more, more swimming and kind of get back to what I enjoyed and what I've grown to love over the years. I'm a registered environmental health specialist for the county. We conduct inspections of facilities that store or manage hazardous materials and we partner with those uh, facilities in proper management and uh, proper disposal of, of those materials. In the county, currently, we have about 12 or 1,300 facilities that we have in our program that are part of the hazardous materials uh, programs. Many of those are very different. There's different industries, uh, different types, sizes. Some of the larger ones include the Chico uh, State Campus, Sierra Nevada Brewery, um, farming industries. One of the biggest misconceptions when we come on site to conduct a facility inspection is that we're there to almost um, penalize. We actually, our intent is to help you uh, continue running your business, to continue to stay open. Uh, yes, it's regulatory and there's some requirements that must be met, but at the end of the day, our ultimate goal is to help our community be, be safer and be, uh, be healthier and to ensure that our environment stays, again, healthy uh, for, for our future generations. Minyazo Nikolai. Yeah, Butte County. <laughs> uh, my name is Nikolai and I am Butte County. <laughs> <laughs>